How's it going everybody? Welcome back and just a quick video to inform you guys on how to use the Tor browser more securely. Now the Tor browser itself is uh, a browser that gives you access to the dark web and of course it will allow you to surf anonymously. However, I strongly discourage you from using just Tor for online protection because multiple incidents have shown that unsafe use of Tor can result in a severe privacy leak or even issues with your online safety. And of course, your ISP can still tell if you're using your own IP address uh, without a VPN or anything like that, your ISP can tell that you're connecting to the dark web and the dark web is linked to illicit activities, typically speaking, not always. Uh, but in order to protect yourself, I strongly recommend that you use use the uh, encrypted IP address and servers of a VPN, a good VPN that is. And of course, you'll be using an IP address that's not yours in order to access the dark web. And that way, your uh, entire connection, not just your browser, not just your browser data will be encrypted and your ISP won't even be able to tell that you're connected to the dark web in the first place. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and preferences. They all have the necessary security features such as the uh, kill switch right here, such is the kill switch and split tiling. The kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly and split tiling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So it's a very useful feature. And with NordVPN, of course, you have the extra uh, specialty servers right here. Double VPN will route your connection to two servers rather than one for double the encryption. Let's just cancel that. And of course, uh, Onion over VPN servers will give you the anonymity of the Onion browser on top of the encryption of NordVPN. So it's a pretty useful feature. Now, of course, all these VPNs are super secure and they have strict no locks policies. So no matter which one you use, you will be secure and uh, they won't give up your information because they're not collecting any information in the first place. And all these VPNs had their no locks policies audited by independent third-party security firms in order to verify their privacy policies and server infrastructure as safe and secure for users in order to keep them anonymous and safe. So of course, once you download the Tor browser, let's just go to the download right here, pick your platform, um, you will come across a folder that looks like this, and you can just start the Tor browser. Of course, make sure that you are connected to the VPN before you do that. And obviously I'm using the Dallas server, which is just, you know, an IP address that's not mine. It belongs to ExpressVPN. And there we go. I have the connection established. It's as simple as that. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, if you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs, for whatever reason, you can simply get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.